I'm Mark Kelly and Mr. Saltwater Tank, and this is Mr. Saltwater Tank TV. Chances are you spend a heck of a whole lot of time thinking about what goes into your saltwater tank. Between picking fish, picking corals, even the equipment that's going to go on your tank, you likely spend hours in this process and you're dang proud of it. This is especially true of you reef junkies out there. However, while we do spend a lot of time thinking about what goes in our tank, you likely don't spend a lot of time thinking about what goes on top of your tank. And what goes on top of your tank? Well, can be vitally important. Why do I say that? Here's why. Saltwater fish have a tendency to jump out of, well, saltwater tanks. Now, some fish are more prone than jumping than others. These are gonna be wrasses, anthias, dartfish, firefish. However, I've found less prone fish like tanks still occasionally jump. Nothing sucks worse when you come to check on your tank and you find one of your fish dried up dead on the floor. So how do you keep fish in your tank? Well, one way is to add a canopy over your tank. Keep in mind, if you do add a canopy, the back of it is likely gonna be open, which is a great place for fish to get out. Now you can add mesh to that opening to help keep the fish in, but keep this in mind. If there's this much of an opening for the fish to get out of, somehow, magically, they're gonna find that opening and out they're gonna go. For example, a common material that's used to cover tanks is this stuff right here. It's, when you go to your home improvement store, they call it a light diffuser. A lot of times, the saltwater tank guys call it egg crate. Now, this has maybe a half inch square or so. You think this is great to keep the fish in the tank. Well, here's a firsthand experience of what happened to me. I was using some egg crate over on the right side of my tank. I had it sitting on top of the aerobracing bracing like this. I just happened to be by the tank and I hear this noise rattling on top of this egg crate. I look over and my minus bunny had somehow made it exactly through one of these holes and landed on top of the crate. Now he was flopping around. Luckily I was right there and was able to rescue him and get him back in the tank so he lived. Now you might say, well, Mark, if they can get through this hole, then they can get right back down to the hole too, right? Well, you would hope, but fate always has it that they never figure out how to get back down here, get back into your tank so they end up dying. You find them crispy dead on top of egg crates. So this stuff can work okay. However, I certainly don't trust it if you have smaller fish, because if they can get through here, they're gonna get through here. In my case, I was lucky. I was able to save my minus plenty. Just don't suffer the same fate I did, thinking that this is gonna keep all your narrow-bodied fish in your tank. Now, if you have an open-top tank, like a rimless tank, Eurobrace tank like I do, you can add this mesh top kit from Bulk Resupply, which is what I did, to keep those fish in. And even if you do have a canopy, I'm gonna to talk to you later in the show why the mesh top kit can still make sense for you. For now, let's have a look at the mesh top kit so you understand what's included. The kit includes the framing material, four corner pieces, splining, which keeps the mesh in place on the frame, a splining tool for easy insertion of the splining, and of course, plenty of screening material is included as well. Note that the screen is clear in color, so it won't block near as much light as black mesh that you might find at home improvement stores. I'm not a DIY guy, but putting together the screen top kit is really easy. Here's how it's done. First, measure twice and cut once the framing material to fit your tank. The screen top kit comes in a couple different lengths. The framing material is also longer than needed. That way you have extra material to work with. The framing material is easily cut with a hacksaw, so no need for power tools here. Then insert the corner pieces into the framing material to create the outline of the screen top. Next, lay out the screen over the frame that you've just created. Then start inserting the splining starting in a corner and working down the length of the frame material. Here's a bonus tip for you. If you're making one of the larger screen top kits, get someone to help you hold the material tight. This will help prevent wrinkles in the material, which is what happened to me. Once you've pushed in all the splining, then grab a razor blade and trim off the excess screen material. If you've got a wrinkle in the screen top, now is a good time to fix it before you cut off the excess screen material. Once all the material is trimmed, place the screen top on your tank and you're done. When you're building the screen top kit, take care not to bend the framing material. It can be bent easily, which is what happened to me. So take your time and be careful. I told you earlier in the show that even if you had a canopy, the mesh top kit can still make sense for you. And here's why. You can trim down the mesh top kit to fit inside the edges of the tank. Here's an example of how one of my followers installed their screen top kit inside the lip of their tank. First, they picked up these clear furniture pads. Then, they cut the screen top to fit inside the lip of their tank and even added an extra corner piece to work around their corner overflow. The end result is a screen top that sits inside the lip of the tank 
for a nice clean polished look. I'll readily admit when I first got the BRS screen top kit, I looked at it and said, I feel like this is going to restrict heavily on the amount of light that's getting down into my tank. And I'll report that after using it for eight months, I have not had to increase the amount of light out of my LED fixtures in order to make up for any restriction in light due to the screen top kit. Also, the shimmer from my fixture is firmly in place, even with the screen top kit over my tank. Here's something else that I've noticed that's interesting. This egg crate stuff here, also known as light diffuser, I used to have it on the right side of my tank, and I noticed that I had zero, zilch, none, shimmer at all out of my LED fixture with this diffuser in place. That would make sense. Its job is to diffuse the light, spread it out, and reduce the intensity. So, this stuff kills your shimmer, the screen top kit doesn't. Everyone loves the look of metal halide or LED shimmer. You want to retain that if you got it. Overall, I've been happy with the BRS screen top kit. It does a great job of keeping my fish in and keeping foreign objects like any toy that my son wants to throw into the tank out. I'm Mark Kelly and Mr. Saltwater Tank. This has been Mr. Saltwater Tank TV. Till next time, have a good one, enjoy your tanks, and know your tank personality.